Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to make yourself into 3D animations just by using your own photo, just by using a piece of photo, how to make, turn yourself to become the 3D avatar, to, to make, your, make you to become the 3D animations. Just have a look at this. This is a MP4 that I make it just by using a piece of photo. Microphone testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. All right. So start from now, I'm going to show you all the step-by-step -step how to make this. Let's go! The first step, you need to have your own picture, your own photo. That take your picture from the front. Next, you need to have this software that's called the Corrector Creator for the CC4. First step, click the Headshot to plug in. Then click the Image, click the Auto. Then drag in your photo in PNG or JPG format at here. Choose your gender. Then choose clean soft. Then click generate. Within a few seconds, it is going to generate your 3D avatar just by using your picture, your face. All right, now it's done. Once it's done, you can just check your face and do some modification. If you feel not satisfied, maybe the jaw parts, you can just go to the morph here. Just search for jaw, like jaw scale, then face. For all of these parts, you can adjust it to just fulfill Fulfill yourself to make sure that it is the same as your, you. Alright, if you feel satisfied already, then just give yourself some clothes. Go to the content. Then go to the cloth and just choose from shirts. You may want to give yourself a shirt. Then next, just go and give yourself a pants. Then a shoes. Choose from the shoes. Right here. Right. Once done already, then next. Save the CC project. Just click file. Save the project as on the desktop model. Then export as I have down so that later you can use it in iClone. Now you have your own I have down. Now it's time, it's the time to just send it to iClone. Just open the iClone. This is a 3D animation software. Import the iAvatar. Drag and drop into here. Then you can see yourself. Now you're already in iClone. Next you can just apply some motion. Click here under the animation, just expand it, go to the motion. Human male, idle, relax, or just move. Just drag and drop the motion. Now you can see you already have the animation. Next, just give yourself as the just give yourself a talking animation. You can just record your own voice or just use the TTS. Click here, create a script, create a TTS. So now it depends what you want to say at here. So now I may just go and type like microphone testing one. 
two, three. Testing complete. So now I just click OK. It, it will automatically generate the TTS, the text to speech. Just try to play. Microphone testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. Right. You may want him to just look at the camera. Just make sure you select it and click here. Scroll down. Look at the camera. So no matter how, he will just look at the camera. Microphone testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. And you may want him to have some facial expression. Just go to click here, the face key. Expressions. You may just choose one of it. Let's say the smile, the happy or sad. It depends. For this time, I'm going to just test the happy. This one. Play. Microphone testing. One, two, you can three. See. Testing complete. Have some smile. Next, we are going to just add a virtual background. To add a virtual background as demo, I'm going to just search it from the Google image. I open the browser, just type image.google.com and now I may just want to just type a CP view and just have a look. Let's say I want to have this. Just a virtual background. Then here I may just type 1080p. HD. Let's say this one is too big. All right, I choose this. Just right click, save the image as on the desktop, and I will just try this. Close the facial expression. Then I just drag and drop into here. It is going to change everything in this way. All right. Then Control G, you can turn off the grid. Now I may, you may just try to render. Render. Microphone arrange. testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. All right. So I just want to make sure the range is until here. Microphone testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. Right now I'm going to just render the video. Click render. Render video. And here. Render as MP4. Then just choose the range. The frame size. You may just choose the resolution of the video, then scroll down, final render, range, include glow, glow and lens flare in alpha, this one, untick it, just click export the range, we just want this range export, and as demo, I'm going to just export it on my desktop, name this as video, 01, click save. Now you can see it render as a video. Done. Once done already, just go and open your video. It is set here. Microphone testing. One, two, three. Testing complete. You can see this is an MP4 video. Everything already rendered properly. Microphone testing. One. You already two. make you already make your own 3D animation just by using your own face with the the AI face to 3D and finally 
by using the TTS, you already made your own animation with the virtual background. Now, Three. this is... Testing complete. This is your 3D animation. All right. That's all for today about my tutorials on how to make yourself as you how, how to make you yourself to become a 3D animations as the talking animations and that's all for today thank you for, for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling 3D animations and 3D game developing you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorials or sharings you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you.